had no electricity and they just heated as long as there was enough, uh, um, what do you call those big oxen? Yaks. Yaks. As long as there's enough yak done around to keep the stove burning, they would, they would keep the place warm, but when we ran out, that was it. But to charge the battery on my camera was two dollars, the same cost as the room. Okay, because they had a little solar panel and a battery that they'd charge us up in energy. The electricity was very, very expensive in Nepal. That's a good bit of mind. Anyway, Murray, we'll just fictitiously say Murray received a hundred thousand dollar, hundred or a thousand dollar loan, hundred thousand, wouldn't that be nice? Thousand dollar loan at four percent interest to spend on green technologies in his home. He's considering two options. So one option is he happens to have ten outside pot lights, and he's going to change them and put these LEDs in it, right? And the other option he's considering is to put in one of these drain water heat recovery systems. Make sense? So two options. Rich considering we'll we'll take the thousand. We've got the thousand. We can spend money to do one or the other. So we're trying to decide between two things. Remember, I said it's important to understand what we're trying to decide. Well, our options are we're going to do this or this. We're going to do one of them. Which one's the best one to invest in? So what's your gut feel right now? He's paying too much for his LED light. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we'll get back to that in a minute. But what's your gut feel on on uh, which one of these do you think is the better investment? Less like, risk on heat recovery. Less There's, risk on the heat you don't recovery. You have to rely on technology possibly breaking down. Works forever. That's right. But okay. I would look at it and go, it's a heck of a lot easier for me to just put the lights in. Okay, very good. So we just covered three things right there, right? So we don't have the risk thing, but energy savings. So we said Murray's very keen on the environment. So he's saying I'm going to spend 50% of my decision is going to be based on which one of these two technologies save the most energy, right? Economic benefits. So we know we'll have to do a net present value and net cash flow. But he's saying 30% of my decision will be based on the economics of it, and. Like Vivian here, he said 20% of this is based on how much work, how much work is it going to be for me to install this this uh, this system. Okay. Now we'll work through this together. But Murray pays 10.8 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity because he's in the city, so same as you and I are paying. But he thinks the cost of electricity is going to increase at 5% per year over the next 50 years. So he that's his belief, right? He may be right, he may be wrong, but that's his belief, and that's what we need to use when we're making this decision, because it's his decision. Right? When I worked with the hotel that I was talking about before, they had a, a belief on what energy costs we're going to go with, and we use their belief, not mine, because it's their decision. Right? So he might be completely up to lunch, but this is what he believes in, so that's what we'll use in making, helping him make his decision. That makes sense? So remember these numbers, 50, 30, 20? That makes sense? 10.8, 50 years. Okay, so let's focus on the LED lighting for a minute. So there's 10 bulbs that we have to replace, and Murray is paying too much for his bulbs based on what uh, Brian's told me, but these are $50 per bulb, including tax, tax in. Okay. They have expected life of 40,000 hours. Um, the LEDs are, are 10 watts. And he's replacing a 60 watt bulb, so we're saving 50 hours, 50 watts per hour, right, of energy. And we're using them 400, 4,000 hours a day. It's outside lights, he leaves his lights on all night whenever it's dark. We've got about 4,000 hours of darkness in Saskatchewan, right? So, so that sounds about right. So we've got some information. So he's got 10 of these, 40, 000, 40 hours each. We're replacing a 60 with a, with a 10, so we're saving 50, 50 per unit. Okay. Any questions? I'll hand that up in a second. Now let's look at the drain water heat recovery. So he's going to use a power pipe R60. I'll just pass this down. It's a study by my good friend, Dr. Whatever in, in uh, Ottawa. So the pipe will cost $1,000, about well, $600 for the this actual pipe, and then about 400 for, for hookup for his plumber. Plumbers don't come cheap. In addition to that, if you remember we said ease of installation was important to him. There's gonna, he's going to have to cut into the wall right in his basement, 
he's going to have to install it, he's going to have to put the drywall back. He's going to do that himself, so he's not costing that, but it's going to be a hassle for him. Right? It's going to be a bit of an effort for him to do that. Not as big an effort as changing the windows in your house or adding R60 installation to your outside walls in an existing home, but it's that. Uh, based on research from CMHC, which I've just passed around, Murray would save about 1,385 kilowatt hours per year by installing the rainwater heat recovery system. Once installed, the system will operate for the life of his home, and he thinks that's about 50 years. So this thing will be here for 50 years, right? This thing will be here for 40,000 hours, if we're using it 4,000 hours a year, a year for 10 years. How convenient. <laughs> Okay, I did a little hopeless bonus. So we'll just pass this around. So here's, here's kind of a case study. Just maybe one. Of I've only got two or three copies. So I'll just, uh, just to share. I'm sure you guys remember everything in here. So. Okay, so we said his selection criteria were energy savings, which one saved more energy, economic benefit, and we know now we'll use net present value, not, not uh, payback period, right, because we're paying so much attention, and ease of installation. So the first two we have to do some calculations on, but let's just quickly go to ease of installation. Which one's going to be easier to install, the light bulbs or the drain water heat recovery? Okay, so we might score the LEDs 20, and let's say that the green water heat recovery will score half of that, 10. It's not like a showstopper, like having to insulate the outside walls, but it's, it's going to be a bit of an issue to, to do it. So if we remember that, we'll score LEDs 20 and green water heat recovery about half on, on the ease of installation. This is definitely easier to install than this one. Right? I can even change the light bulb. My wife will even let me change the light bulb. Okay, so to go to the calculation around the, uh, the cost and the energy savings, I just did this little spreadsheet. We can just go through it together to, to see what kind of numbers are that. So the cost of the LEDs would be how much? Thousand bucks. 500. 550 yeah. times 10, right? Okay, and the cost of drain water heat recovery? Plus the 400. Thousand. Thousand, that's right. Okay. What's the current price of electricity? What did I say? Point. Ten oh eight. Okay. And what does Murray believe is going to happen to electricity costs? About five percent a year. Okay. Um, the savings now. So the savings per bulb was fifty, 50 watts. Fifty bulb. watts. We've got ten bulbs. Four thousand hours per year, right? So that would be 2 million, kilo, 2 million watts or 2,000 2, kilowatt hours, right? The drain water heat recovery savings were? <coughs> 1,300 and something. 1,300 and something, it's on that. 85 I think it was. Okay, now I said to do the net present value, you need to cost the capital. Murray's loan for this stuff was at 4%, so that's a good number. There's not much risk in either of these investments, right? They're pretty low risk investments, so 4 is probably the number. We said the life of the LEDs would be what? 10 years. 10 years? And what would the life of the green water heat recovery be? 50 years. 50 years of life of the house. It'd probably be, but it's the life of the house, really. And probably could go beyond that if some of the smart enough to take it out of the house, but for this discussion, it's leave it. So I'll just show you what I've done here. Just quickly on this spreadsheet, if you if you look up, this is, this row on the far right is the cost of energy. If we assume it's going to go up five five percent a year, so this year it's ten point eight, next year it's eleven point three, and you can just sort of see it escalating. So you get that curve I was talking about, where the the price goes up over time. The the second line is the oops, this this column here. Let's start from the right. So this this column here is the amount of energy we're saving at that price, right? So at the price of 11.8, that energy, 2,000 kilowatts, we'd save $216. Next year, the energy's gone up. You can see each, each dollar, it goes up. This is 10 years over the life of the 
LED 